Hi, this tutorial is the first in the Cellular Respiration series. This video will be an overview of cellular respiration and the following videos will look at the details of each component. Cellular respiration is the process of energy production within a cell. The currency of energy within a cell is a molecule called adenosine triphosphate, more commonly known as ATP. Cellular respiration is the set of reactions which create ATP from nutrients. So let's see how this happens. One important fuel for the cell is glucose. The body acquires glucose by breaking down carbohydrates in the diet into their simplest form, which is often glucose. Glucose is converted into this molecule, pyruvate through a series of steps known as glycolysis. We'll look at those steps in a later tutorial. The process of glycolysis produces two of these ATP molecules. It also produces two NADH molecules. These NADH molecules will be converted into ATP later. The pyruvate molecule then undergoes another series of reactions known as the tricarboxylic acid cycle, more commonly known as the TCA cycle, but it's also known as the citric acid cycle and the Krebs cycle. The TCA cycle creates a guanosine triphosphate, which is essentially an ATP, an FADH2, which will get turned into ATP later, and three NADH, which will also get turned into ATP later. The TCA cycle also produces carbon dioxide as a byproduct. Now, pyruvate isn't the only substrate for the TCA cycle. Amino acids can be used in the TCA cycle, and so can fatty acids via a process called beta oxidation. We'll look at the TCA cycle and beta oxidation in later tutorials. Note that when glucose is the substrate, one glucose molecule creates two pyruvate molecules, and this leads to the production of twice the amount of GTP, FADH2, and NADH produced by the TCA cycle. The FADH2 and NADH molecules are then used to create ATP, which, as I said before, is the energy of the cell. This process happens via the electron transport chain within the mitochondria of the cell. And this is the part of the process that requires oxygen. The reasons that human require oxygen is to supply it to the electron transport chain and create ATP. All in all, one molecule of glucose can create a maximum of 38 ATP. However, this is not really an accurate number, as some of the energy is used moving all these molecules into different parts of the cell, so the actual number depends on how you decide to count the ATP. And that's an overview of cellular respiration. In the next video, we'll have a look at the details of glycolysis. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please help us produce more by making a donation at www.handwrittentutorials.com.